Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be creating my 2023 journal and I want to take you guys with me. So journaling has really helped me to focus and put a lot of things into perspective. So this journal is not just for productivity, it's also for my overall well-being. It includes career, personal growth, happiness and... Let's get started. To start you need a journal and a pen. My journal comes with a calendar for important events so I don't have to draw it. You create your journal however you want to but I keep it minimal and it's very helpful to have a index page. Let's start with the first page which is always the vision board. The vision board is supposed to have a central quote or a word that's going to represent your whole year. For me it's limitless this year. And then we're going to fill with the things that we need to visualize and manifest into our lives. But, but we are not going to fill this space right away. We are going to go to the next page, write our specific goals and a step-by-step -step strategy to achieve these goals and come back and then fill your vision board. This is an example of my 2022 health goals. And as you can see here, I've had goals like get in shape and gain muscle mass. And I also want to weigh a certain kgs. But then I'm so glad I changed it and I changed it to like become strong. And to that, I had a game plan because without a game plan, you can't do anything, which included cardio, walking, strength training, and also maintaining a well-balanced diet. The same way, this year, I have a set of goals I'd love to achieve, which includes health and career, and there are some habits that I'd like to cultivate and general goals. And make sure you write what you exactly want. For example, for some people it could be walk 15,000 steps a day or eat a particular way or do this lifestyle change. And for what I want this year, I want to be more muscular and strong and get abs. Yeah, I've been wanting abs for a very long time and this year we'll be getting it. And I also want to eat uh, a well-balanced, nutritious and delicious uh, diet. And after this, what is very important is you need to write a strategy and how you're going to achieve these goals. It's not and my strategy would be to hit the gym consistently, train abs two times a week and cook and develop new recipes which I can consume and make it delicious and the way I like it. That way I don't get burnt out and give up on my resolutions. And now these are my general goals for this year. I want to travel more, write more, dress well and read more with their strategies being make time, save money, write regularly, to plan my outfits and to read one book every single month. Now it's time to flip back to your vision board page and start filling them with your goals. This is an example of my last year's vision board where I put I want to join the gym, have more opportunities and my central quote was metamorphosis because I want to reinvent myself and evolve into a new person just like how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. You can also add quotes that inspire you and everything that will take you a little closer to your goal. So this year I have again get more muscular, dress well and take time for myself, get abs and these are just a few examples. The next page is a very exciting page. It's the monthly highlights page. What I like to do is after every month I come back to this page and I write down the highlights of that particular month. This way it helps me keep a track of the month and also it's nice to flip back and you see how the year was. This is the manifestation page. Here I become a wizard and write down whatever I want to attract and the universe brings it to me. Next is a fun little page where we write down our accomplishments. These accomplishments can be something really small or really big but then it helps you keep track of them. And the next page is the fun activities I did this year. This was an example from last year. It basically has every little thing I did which brought me a lot of joy like throwing pebbles into the lake, playing with dogs, it's mostly dogs for me. And for you it can be anything, so any fun activity you do this particular year, it goes there. So that way you're, when you're feeling a little low or you're not feeling very good, you can flip back to this page and read what you did for fun and you can go down the memory lane and feel good about it. So that's the whole purpose of this and to know what are the fun activities we did this year. Next, I leave several pages blank for me to fill it later with prompts that I really like. For example, this is a simple morning routine or stuff that makes me really happy. And uh, or it could be things like your wish list or your billion dollar uh, empire ideas or what's happening in this particular year. So it can be any of these prompts that you can write and come back later. Now we're going to start off with our monthly journal. 
I am allocating 4 pages for every single month where I'll have a monthly calendar where we'll be scheduling our appointments, uh, the events I'm, I'm supposed to attend or general things I need to be aware of the particular month. And for this I'll be sectioning the page in 3 different parts and I'll be writing down the dates from 1 to 31st. This is not a daily journal. For daily uh, to-do lists and activities, I have a whiteboard where I write down the particulars that I want to achieve on that particular day. So my journal is really a monthly journal and which is further divided into a weekly journal. I'll show you, I'll show you that in the next uh, section. Now it's time for monthly goals. And how do you set a monthly goal? Is take, You take your yearly goal, break it into small chunks. And whatever is the first step towards your yearly goal, you're going to do that in January. And you write down your goals. Once you write down your goals, you need to write a strategy like I always uh, like I always say. You need a strategy to fulfill these goals. And that's where the strategy goes right after the goals. Sometimes to achieve these goals or to generally just reinvent yourself, you need new habits or to uh, be consistent with your older habits. So that's why I have a habit tracker to to keep a track of my older habits and to cultivate new habits and to stick to them. Now I further break my monthly goals into weekly goals. I have four sections here or five sections depending on the month. Every week gets one section where I write down that week's goals and steps to achieve those goals. Then I write down the thoughts for that month. After this I leave several pages and that is 4 into 12 pages which is equal to 48 because like I said I leave 4 pages for every single month. So after these 48 pages I have sectioned my journal into uh, different small sections. I am doing a sectioned journal because I want to keep a track of every single aspect of my life. The first aspect I'd like to track is my health, fitness and overall well-being. So I've dedicated around 12 pages for this uh, section which is one page for each month and every month I'll be setting health goals which is overall health goals, physical, uh, mental, social. So I'll be writing what I need to achieve and what I need to do. But then I realized that this wasn't enough so I do have a separate gym journal where I do track my gym progress. The next part is dedicated to my work, education and growing up. So I'll be sectioning this uh, part into three different parts where I'll uh, dedicate some pages for my work, uh, where I'll be tracking all that I'm doing and the progress there or if something's not working and if something requires a lot of change and that's how I'll get to track it and I'll change accordingly. The next section is dedicated to being grateful for every little thing in life. Every single day I want to write down something that I'm grateful for. And this way, I'm connected with my higher self, I'm connected with the universe and it gives me a feeling of truly being alive and having a purpose here. Travel is a new addition to my journal. This year I intend to travel and I want to document it all. The next section is dedicated to my creative side of the brain which is I want to explore with poetry, art and write more stories. This, these are the things I loved as a kid and I want to continue these hobbies and they bring me so much joy so I really do want to continue them. This is the last section which I call write it out where I basically write everything from book reviews to notes to just ranting out whatever I want to write. Basically it's like my rough note or junk thing where I write down everything. Now that we're done with the writing, I used these colorful tapes to, sec uh, to highlight each section that way it's easy for me to open them up. So that's it for my journal setup. And I hope you all have a great year ahead and do share your journal tips with us. Bye.